Instead of buying a pricey macro lens adapter for your smartphone, for just a few dollars, you can turn a laser pointer into a macro lens that'll give your devices a much closer look into what you're photographing without paying a small fortune. And the best part? It works on smartphones, tablets, even flip phones. Here's the list of things you'll need to get started. A laser pointer, a bobby pin, needle nose pliers, and some tape. Start by removing the laser pointer from its packaging, then disassemble the laser pointer by unscrewing both ends and removing the small pieces. You'll be left with a center cylindrical piece that contains the lens itself. Use those nifty needle nose pliers to grasp the end and untwist the cap that holds the lens in place. Now obviously, laser pointer assemblies may vary, but regardless, be pretty careful not to drop or lose this piece. This is what turns the otherwise soft red light into a sharp laser beam that you're used to seeing. We'll utilize the power of the magnifying lens with our smartphone camera by sandwiching it right between the arms of a bobby pin. The grooves on the bobby pin form a nice mold that'll hold that plastic lens right in place. But again, handle the whole thing with caution while you're assembling. The plastic from the laser pointer acts as a powerful macro lens to magnify your camera's focal point nearly 100 times over what it normally captures. This temporary adapter will essentially disable autofocus features, so you'll have to manually or physically adjust the distance of your phone's camera from the subject until it comes into focus. It'll likely take a little practice, or a lot, to get your magnification into focus, so don't give up, because this really does work. The trick is to get very close to the subject, about one inch away in most cases. This neat little hack will give you professional looking close-up photos with far greater detail than you ever imagine your smartphone capturing. It's excellent for pictures of fine print, bugs, flowers, eyes, jewelry, any small object, really. When comparing the differences between your smartphone camera's regular abilities to the macro lens, you'll notice a huge difference in size and focus. This nifty little lens trick will help you magnify your tech skills without that expensive macro lens. And with these things available for about two bucks at the grocery store, why not give it a shot? Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like taking professional photos with your smartphone, check this video out too, cause it'll certainly steer you in the right direction. We post new videos every few days, so make sure you're subscribed and that you click that little bell icon so that you get notified when those videos come out. We'll see you next time.